So today we're going to look at smart watches that measure blood pressure. There has been a lot of attempts by tech companies to come out with devices that have the ability to measure your blood pressure. But for someone with high blood pressure like myself, I think it's really critical that devices that do measure high blood pressure are accurate, reliable, and are able to inform the user of the smartwatch when their blood pressure is extremely high. And my experience so far is that that has been the opposite. For someone with high blood pressure, a blood pressure monitor could be a lifesaver. It could be the difference between somebody picking up the phone, calling an ambulance and going in to get checked because their blood pressure is extremely high or someone staying at home not knowing that their blood pressure has gone through the roof such that they're almost close to suffering a stroke or heart attack. So when it comes to smartwatches that do measure blood pressure, unfortunately the technology to be able to achieve blood pressure monitoring through the use of a smartwatch has been really challenging for a lot of companies and a lot of them have had to reevaluate and go back to the drawing board to come up with designs that would help produce accurate readings. So while a smartwatch that tells you your blood pressure reading is 130 over 80 for somebody who has high blood pressure, that can actually be comforting. But on the other hand, it could also be fatal, especially if the true reading is 180 over 110 which means that the person is not far away from suffering a stroke or heart attack. So I've had experience with some blood pressure monitoring smartwatches and other people have expressed their dissatisfaction with what is currently available on the market. So my thought is that the blood pressure reading taken from a smartwatch should even be more accurate than the heart rate reading that you get from most of the smart watches that are available on the market today. So my first experience with a watch that claimed to monitor blood pressure reading was a smart watch called Core Track, which I ordered for myself and another one for my wife. And the first thing I noticed that my blood pressure never seemed to exceed 130 over 86. And as I said before, that can be very comforting. So whenever I took my blood pressure reading using my blood pressure monitor, I know sometimes it can go high as, you know, 140 over 95. That concerns me a lot because there is actually a difference between, you know, 130 over 86 compared to 140 over 95. And that is such a huge difference in, in reading. It could mean the difference between life and death for somebody who has hypertension like myself. So my advice is for those who have high, for those of us who have high blood pressure, what you want to get first is a blood pressure monitor not a smart watch that measures blood pressure because there are quite a few of them on the market now but a lot of them are inaccurate and they all, they have their own inherent problems from not working properly to being clunky not providing accurate readings failing after a few months of use so it's better to get a blood pressure monitor and there's so many good ones on the market um, a few are validated by the regulatory authorities in individual countries and you're a lot safer using the readings from these blood pressure monitors as opposed to using a smartwatch that measures blood pressure. So Omron have recently brought the Omron Heart Guide blood pressure smartwatch to the market. This smartwatch is currently unavailable 
to buy in the UK because I couldn't find anywhere that I could make a purchase to actually test the device. I know you can get it from their website in the US but on this site in the US it specifically states that the watch is only for use in the US. The reason why that is the case I don't know, only Omron can explain, but I went to the Amazon.com website to gauge the reviews on the Omron Heart Guide and it wasn't too impressive. One of the features of the Omron Heart Guide is that it has an inner strap which inflates in a way that is quite similar to a normal blood pressure monitor with a cuff around the arm and that is the way this uh, watch is able to measure your blood pressure. On the Amazon.com website the Omron Heart Guide has three stars out of a maximum of five from 72 ratings at the time of this report. One of the verified ratings was from a retired emergency room doctor and he had this to say. The main selling point of this product is the ability to easily take your blood pressure multiple times a day and even at night when you sleep. It is not a smartwatch in the ordinary sense. I am a retired emergency room physician and have two other Omron products which have performed well over the years. Since Omron is a reputable manufacturer of medical products, I have had great hopes for this blood pressure watch. In most ways, it performs as advertised, except the blood pressure measurements are very inaccurate. Here are some of the tests I did on myself. Background. Watch was fully charged. It was set to use the right wrist and positioned on the wrist and tightened exactly as specified in the directions. The watch was carefully held at the level of the heart. This is especially important. To determine the accurate blood pressure, I took two readings using a mercury manometer, arm cuff and a stethoscope to determine the actual blood pressure. This is generally considered the gold standard short of using an invasive arterial line. The pulse was determined by simply taking my pulse, which is easy as a physician with many years of experience. Using this method, the true blood pressure and the pulse was consistently 122 over 60 with a pulse of 56. Now using the watch as described above, several consecutive readings were taken. And as you can see, the numbers speak for themselves. He goes on to say, in summary, I think this product is at best worthless and at worst dangerous. The fact that it has an FDA approval speaks poorly of both the FDA and Omron. Also, as a point of comparison, I have an old Omron IntelliSense model, HEM-711, that automatically measures blood pressure. It is remarkably accurate, rarely more than one or two mmHg of the accurate value. So looking at this physician's blood pressure reading, he's actually really healthy for uh, someone who is retired as a physician and you know if he gets a false reading that could mean almost nothing for him but for someone who is hypertensive that could be potentially dangerous another reviewer on amazon talking about the cons of this product said the price is too high it's too bulky and somewhat uncomfortable my hesitation is how long will my mom want to wear it's due to it being so bulky and uncomfortable. Not sure if it's worth paying $500 for this. The reviewer went on to say, seven months after purchasing this, the batteries were not charging and the pressure measurement was not working. The device has been sent back to Omron for inspection and to figure out the issue why it's not charging. Another reviewer said, I was unable to get a consistent reading with this device. It is poorly designed. 
why there are an equal number of positive comments about the Omron Heart Guide on Amazon.com. That to me is just not good enough. This particular device is supposed to be rating five stars or at least four and a half stars on Amazon because it needs to be accurate. Forget about the clunkiness and how big and oversized it feels on the wrist of many people which you know they've definitely complained about but if it's not accurate then that is a big issue. I have no doubt that Omron is the benchmark by which all other blood pressure monitors are measured against on the consumer market. This particular smartwatch called the Heart Guide as, as far as I know is is an epic fail and I think Omron needs to go back to the drawing board to first of all make sure that the readings are accurate and secondly to ensure the design is not uncomfortable and clunky to wear in other words if you want people who have high blood pressure to enjoy using this device then it shouldn't be a device that is causing stress and further leading to even higher blood pressure. It should be a device that should be giving them comfort while they use it. Something that is a pleasure to put on your arm. I think what Omron needs to understand that when people with high blood pressure are wearing this device, they are depending on it to provide them an accurate reading and that accurate reading could be the difference between life and death or between having a stroke and a heart attack. So I, I need the truth to be able to make the right decision. So one has to ask the question why top smartwatch tech companies have not come to the market with devices that accurately measure blood pressure and my understanding is for a watch to be able to do that the technology involved in actually designing a blood pressure monitoring smartwatch is increasingly complex and companies like Fitbit and Apple understand the importance of why it's necessary that the readings are accurate. For example, it's been over two years now that Samsung Galaxy announced that it was bringing a blood pressure monitoring smartwatch to the market and that it's under FDA review and we still don't have any information regarding the outcome of the trial and that goes to show how increasingly complex it is to be able to um, come up with a device that does that. We know that Fitbit is currently trialing its blood pressure monitoring smartwatch and Apple has something currently undergoing design. So to conclude, my advice to fellow high blood pressure sufferers is instead of waiting for a smartwatch that measures blood pressure, I would advise that you buy yourself a blood pressure monitor first because even if you will buy a blood pressure smartwatch in the future, you would need something that would serve as a standard by which the smartwatch provides reading and the blood pressure monitor has been around for for quite a while so when you take your reading at any time of the day using your blood pressure monitor you, you can use it to validate what the smartwatch is reading so when smartwatches that accurately measure blood pressure arrive on the market i actually don't see a situation where blood pressure monitors would suddenly disappear in fact i think doctors for quite a while would insist that their patients provide blood pressure readings from a blood pressure monitor rather than a smartwatch and that is likely to be around for quite a long time. So if you already have a smartwatch that claims to measure blood pressure and is as accurate as it claims 
to be. First of all, what I would say is make sure that you always compare it to what your blood pressure monitor reads. I don't see a situation where blood pressure monitors would suddenly dis disappear from the market. I think that blood pressure monitors would still be around for quite a long while because the effort to actually bring smart watches to the market would would be more challenging than what these tech companies anticipate and for somebody who has high blood pressure like myself i want to make sure that the data that i'm getting from the watch is as accurate as possible so smart watches that measure blood pressure for now definitely not uh, let's give it another year or two and see what these tech companies come up with i might be wrong there might be a product that comes onto the market that or that is already on the market if that's the case let me know drop me a comment below and um, i'll be willing to try it out if you've had the same experience that I've had with smartwatches that claim to measure blood pressure and have provided inaccurate readings, drop me a comment. And if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and please, I would appreciate it if you subscribe. Take care. See you in the next video.